Well, listen, we have four clips this week. This is the first one. It is you and Nunzio Smackdown, February 3rd, 2005. Let's check it out. What in the hell are you doing here? You're not from San Jose. Kurt Angle, tonight, I am the hometown boy. They must have moved. I told the other kid to stay in the back. The other night at the Royal Rumble, when you stole my spot and you punked me out, one of the hardest things I ever have to live for. That's your problem. Ever since then, I haven't been able to sleep one wink. And to be honest, I probably won't be able to sleep one wink until I redeem myself and fight you right here, right now. Well, he must be drinking or something. What's his deal? He's got to be nuts, Nunzio. Stand it up for himself. You want to wrestle me? I want to wrestle you now. You're on. Well, Kurt oh, Angle tried to cheap shot Nunzio, and here we go. So it's Nunzio 101 with Kurt Angle. Nunzio upset that Kurt Angle stole his spot in the Royal Rumble match this past Sunday. I don't blame Nunzio for being uh, upset. I understand that. I just think you got to be careful when they were Kurt Angle. Nunzio's got tons of guts. I know that. He's got a lot of heart. No doubt about it. Well, we saw what Kurt Angle did to Shawn Michaels at the Royal Rumble. This past Sunday. Now, you know, Kurt's a SmackDown guy. I get that. But Kurt Angle's actions toward HBK were despicable this past Sunday. Stop rooting for that. He didn't deserve the treatment Kurt Angle gave him. And look at Angle. Look at that arm right to the count of five by referee Charles Robinson. Kurt Angle very confident in his mat wrestling ability. He should be. God sakes, Olympic gold medals. But that Nunzio. He can go on the mat. He can, he can exchange some holds and do some submission. You heard the news moments ago from the general manager. There will be an eight-man tournament Whoa. to determine the number one contender for the WWE Championship. We have two first-round matches tonight, we've been told. Eddie Guerrero, look at this! Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, have it! Oh, Kurt Angle kicks out. You're upset there. It's Eddie Guerrero versus Booker T tonight. The Undertaker versus Rene Dupree next week. In Japan, John Cena to meet Orlando Jordan, and also Kurt Angle will go one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio. That should be great, but I'll tell you, Mr. Mysterio not back to down here. Well, he's a New York guy, like you said. Oh, he's got to I thought maybe he moved to San Jose. Who would do that? Oh, oh look out. Off the top turnbuckle. Nunzio rolling on again. Oh, Jothers down, and a kick out by Angle. What an upset this would be for Nunzio, who is all fired up tonight. And Kurt now looking a little concerned. It's Nunzio. Tell you what, he's got heart. But Kurt Angle wasn't prepared for a bona fide superstar in this match. Right, that's a good point. That's a real good point. That's why Kurt popped the ball to the ropes here a little bit. Nunzio, look at this. Oh, what a suplex. What a counter by Angle. You know, I, you know, I'll tell you what, I used to do that move. I used to call it a wheel barrel suplex. It's not done many times. Kurt's got great hips. Pops those hips. Angle slam. Nunzio, the angle slam connecting as we take it. Great counter by Kurt Angle. Go watch the hip. Go pop the hip. Back off. Beautiful throw. Angle up right there. And Nunzio makes it to the ropes. Kurt Angle refusing to break that ankle lock. At a count of four now. Now Yankee Nunzio out of the corner. Nunzio with nowhere to go here. And now he's ripping the whole leg. And Nunzio must tap out. The break his ankle up to play. Kurt Angle. Wrench into the ankle lock. Mysterio's watching this. Looks like he did this Shawn Michaels Sunday night. Here's Kurt Angle. Winner. Kurt Angle with the ankle. So, Kurt, one of the things I wanted to bring up here that Meltzer brought up was that, uh, you know, with SmackDown being recorded, they heavily edited out the boos from your two, uh, you and Nunzio segment here. I want your thoughts and feelings. Do you think they should just leave it up and let it be the TV experience? Or do you think it's okay okay for, and, and a wise decision just to go ahead and edit it out and clean it up? If they didn't want the fans to boo during my match, I think they made the right decision. But at the same time, they were booing because they didn't have a hometown wrestler. That's right. Um, I think they should have kept it in there because the fans were really, truly upset. And I, I don't think you take the voice out of the fans. You let them do what they want to do.